Hey, uh, Z here. Hey, Jeff here. <laughs> so yeah, now we're both in Singapore. We just finished a very productive week together, and uh, today actually we would like to uh, announce something really, really exciting. So uh, Space Chain UK, as we uh, established last year, and we have done a lot of workshops. Jeff and I went to UK. Just uh, last week, we received very good news from European Space Agency. ESA. ESA. So you already can do the announcement? Oh, yeah. Well, thank you. It's, uh, it's so exciting. It's so impactful uh, for a young space startup like this. We have had two launches. No other space startup has uh, done that uh, quickly and uh, that completely. And now we have another big milestone for our space startup, which is we have a proposal that was accepted from us to the European Space Agency, and uh, this is a really big milestone for Space Chain. Yes. So basically, our we joined the Kickstart Business Application Program, and uh, what this is uh, something that ESA does to promote blockchain application for space industry. And uh, as you know, this is exactly what we do. So we immediately approached them and. Uh, so the, the proposal we submitted, we're gonna do a multi-sector wallet based on satellite payloads. So ESA immediately uh, really liked it. After several rounds of discussion, we, have, we are going to receive a grant, uh, grant from ESA, and then we're gonna work on this project in the next 12 months. And uh, also at the same time, uh, because we, another big milestone part of this uh, is that it's actually a big uh, thing for us to get it recognized by this top um, space agency, and uh, I know you used to work with some uh, you, uh, you, uh, space agency in the uh, U.S. and uh, uh, it really took a lot of effort. Yeah, it did. It did. Uh, working with uh, government agencies, you uh, it, it's not your average startup that gets to uh, have grant proposals accepted. Um, there are a lot of checks that they have to take a look at uh, Space Chain, make sure that uh, we are who we say we are, that we can do the job, that uh, we have aerospace and blockchain experience capable to fulfill the proposal. And then, of course, uh, you have to uh, perform all the government checks and balances needed to actually get the proposal uh, made, get the proposal accepted. And uh, so it's a lot of work. Uh, it's uh, primarily our Space Chain UK team, which has just been absolutely fantastic. So uh, thanks, <laughs> thanks to the team for uh, hitting the home run. Uh, they really did an amazing job. And uh, this is just the first of many proposals that we uh, foresee that we're going to be working with uh, not just the European Space Agency, but other space agencies as well. As uh, our roadmap and uh, maturation process continues, uh, there's really so many opportunities for space and blockchain, and this is the first of many. Yeah, so after the, I think the most exciting part of this is actually we checked by the business application department which is super, super awesome. Because uh, I remember when we uh, firstly proposed, uh, not ESA, but like well, in general, it's like people said, oh, it's a cool idea, but does it really make sense? Does it really create value? And uh, by you know, gradually involving our technology and uh, keep talking to our industry partners, so getting accepted by this business application category uh, department of the ESA. So that actually really excites me because uh, uh, we got third party validation to make, make sure that our business application makes sense. But although there's also a very long um, way for us to develop, but uh, we're happy we reached out uh, as this part. I think this part is, is just fast. Yeah, the proposal had to, it had to make business sense. It's not just, this is a cool idea, which of course it is. Yeah but it has to make businesses or it needs to have customer uh, potential, real revenue potential. And uh, that's another thing that we're uh, very much focusing on uh, this year and going into 2020 in Space Chain is uh, making it real. Is uh, these proposals, they are real proposals for real business cases, real use cases, and something that will generate revenue for and from the space industry. So I think that uh, we're growing as the space industry itself as well. Yeah, yeah. so we're super happy and because uh, we started like last year and the last year for the UK branch because we really 
take a look at the European potential for partnership for manufacturers, for uh, clients, and, uh, and also it's uh, important for us to promote global collaboration and, uh, and uh, being able to be the connector, the integrator, not only the technology, but also the relationship, and that uh, makes us really happy. And uh, uh, yeah, so we uh, so just to throw back a little bit. Actually, in, in February when we just started the space in UK, Jeff and I we joined the satellite application called Put, which is uh, one of the many uh, innovator called Put that UK set up. We did a space and a blockchain workshop that we actually attract over seventy uh, space professionals all over the, the Europe to come join us. They're like Airbus guys, ESA guys, you know, the UK and all the big companies, you know, uh, facing Europe. So, yeah, we're very happy that we're actually getting to the ecosystem to divide our business in the UK. And uh, uh, we definitely foresee uh, there are many future like, uh, potentials there. And uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, uh, Jeff, Jeff, share something you think about the potential in, in space industry in Europe in general. Because uh, you are from like America, but I know you actually travel to all the time and you really uh, yeah and and I think that it's indicative of where the space industry is today is that it's uh, usually been the purview of governments and multi-billion dollar corporations to send satellites up into space and now the economics of space in general are coming down and it's making space businesses for the first time ever have the ability to access space, to access space platforms. And uh, Europe in particular, they are looking for what innovation is going to help drive business to European companies, help bring business to the space industry. And so, uh, you know, Z mentioned uh, Airbus as an example, is uh, those type of companies they're looking at blockchain, they're looking at AI, they're looking at other new technologies and saying, how can this accelerate our space experience? How can this uh, bring new applications to space? And they're looking to space chain for the answer. And I think that uh, that's going to benefit uh, Europe and the UK in terms of jobs. It's going to uh, bring launches and innovation to Europe. And that's what uh, ESA and our partners are really looking for. So yeah, as we mentioned in many of our previous videos, we want to be the blockchain guy in the space industry and the space guy in the blockchain industry. And the integrator, the educator, the, the, the thought leader. Yeah, bringing it space and blockchain together. Yes. So actually one actually really interesting fact actually make all this happen is that blockchain being open source technology. So because we don't necessarily need to develop, redevelop messing with IP cross jurisdiction, but we are all using the same intellectual product that created by the us and also the open source community. Uh, that so we are really help us to move forward because uh, when we start in UK, we, right away we can say whatever we're gonna use is on GitHub. Check it, it's okay. Then we can proceed. It's simple like that. So there's no complicated, you know, back end check and. Uh, yeah, I think you really have. You have the massive open source. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't understand that open source, it's really basic science, just like chemistry, biology, etc. Scientists perform peer review. One reviews another's work. And uh, open source is really bringing that to software engineering. And uh, if you look on Space Chain's uh, GitHub, for example, you'll see uh, our Space Chain OS, you'll see our tokens, several other projects, all open source. At uh, my uh, previous space firm, which we brought that DNA into Space Chain, uh, we uh, published the first open source satellite ever. And the reason why we were able to publish those designs and specifications to the world was because it was open source. I had to get some approvals from the US government and they said because it's open source, you can share it with the entire world where normally there are more checks and balances for military or science or this, that, and the other. Open source was what made that happen. So next step for Space Chain UK and Space Chain in general. I think we're gonna continue 
keep digging on the open source technology in space and uh, open source hardware even. And uh, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna keep working on this. And uh, of course, like thanks to UK team, uh, we have achieved a lot. But uh, this is not this is just the very beginning uh, of the, our whole plan. And we are applying for multiple uh, uh, like uh, extra funding and, uh, and in engaging with a couple of partners. And uh, yeah, we are super excited. Um, so today is National Day of Singapore. Thanks Singapore right. uh, for, for uh, everything and uh, we are a Singapore company we have actually uh, benefit greatly for being in Singapore and uh, we receive so much support and a lot of uh, from government and partners here. So yeah, Jeff and I, we are <laughs> after a very long week and we are enjoying the flower dome. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful and it's uh, just like Singapore itself such a beautiful country and uh, uh, just like I'm American, Z is Chinese, we come to uh, Singapore and have this international collaboration. It's a microcosm of uh, the space industry and what we're trying to accomplish in terms of collaborations with our partners across the continent. Yeah, yeah. special shout out to David Lee and uh, you for <laughs> everything and all the advice he gave us and uh, yeah, so that's a wrap and uh, hope you guys uh, really, uh, yeah. Check out, uh, check, check us, uh, check the, the, uh, the announcement uh, for more details. We have a kind of a full press release, and uh, uh, for technical details, it's gonna all be released pretty soon. Because uh, we're working with the ESA right now, and uh, we will let you know uh, when we can. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for all the support. Thank you, Space Chain supporters. Thank you, Space Chain team. You're amazing, and we look forward to uh, letting you, the uh, Space Chain community, know about uh, many more developments as they come out in the next six and 12 months.